What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Phoenix 367 BH. Now this one is truly a real bunkhouse. It has a huge bunk room, plenty of space to sleep the whole family and probably a few friends. Uh, this thing is beautiful from front to back, huge outdoor kitchen, lots of space and it actually has a bathtub that you could actually bathe a small child with a clogger or a thing to clog the the, the drain so you can actually bathe a young child so let's go ahead and jump into this we're going to start on the outside work our way in but if you're new to this channel it's totally free if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button the bell notification so you know when my next video comes out i would appreciate it and if you get tired of me you can always unsubscribe later down the road so let's go ahead and hop in. All right, we're gonna start from the front. You have a large Phoenix logo on a white and black background, looks amazing. Then below you have your pin box. And then we have your, a lot of power things, a lot of cables, all color coordinated, which is nice. Makes it faster if you need to get repairs done. And then you have your stabilizers right there. And let's go on over to the other side. And you can use that as storage as well. You don't have to leave it just for that, but I would be very careful as there's so many exposed wires there. So be discretion discretionary when you do it. Right here, you have your two speakers. A little close for my likings, but again, it's it, it will still sound great. You have an awning from the very front to the very beginning of the first slide on the back window in the door and then this one also has asdell i always talk about how important that is it prevents delamination it doesn't absorb water so it doesn't cause mold or mildew it doesn't expand so it's protected and it prevents from that whole flexing which is what the delamination is so you're always going to have this hard sensation all the time so that's always a plus Back here, you have one tank of uh, propane. On the other side is where the other tank is gonna be located. Right here, I could not find the keys. They're locked up, so I wasn't able to open this side. The other side is open, but I promise you, it's just a big, giant space, pass-through space, and it's got plenty of room to put whatever you possibly could need. You have a set of solid steps. Coming down, this is your first slide. And then you have your second slide, which has your outdoor kitchen. And when I say kitchen, you're gonna bring your own grill. You have a propane hookup right here. And then you can also bring charcoal, of course, but propane's obviously easy. Err. Err. And then you have this huge fridge. This is much bigger than your regular beer fridge or whatever. This is in fact bigger than some of the uh, teardrops and pop-up uh, refrigerators, so that's pretty nice. You actually have a sink here in, brushed, in a brushed design. And then you have a TV backer, you can barely see it, it's so, written so little. And then you have all your hookups, your cable satellite, and then you have a light switch along with a USB, couple of USB-A ports. So. You have a back door to the bunk room and bathroom. So you don't, so if you're going to like a beach or something, you don't have to have your kids traipse all the way from the front, all the way through to the bathroom that they use. You could literally make them go straight in and your bathroom is right here. So you'll see it from the other side, from inside. This one has a 300 pound hitch on the back. So it's not meant for towing, but you can hook up things like bikes, or uh, propane tanks, or not propane tanks, but generators, those kind of things can be hooked up in the back. All LED tail lights. It's pre-wired for both side cameras and rear camera. And of course you have a ladder going all the way to the roof so you can maintain it, check your ACs, do all that good stuff. I'm pretty sure you can guess it. This is a 50 amp RV. You can kind of tell by how girthy this bad boy is. And the fact that it has two ACs, it is a 50 amper. You have your tank flush right here and a 10 gallon hot water tank. 
You've got another slide right here and another one with a ton of windows. So the living area is very, very lit. And then coming over here, we have the other side of our pass through, which you can see basically all the way to the other side. I just need to get that unlocked. But on this side, you have your pass through to the, your, all your hookups and everything. You have all your tank fill and all that right there. Your water filter you place right here. This is just a kind of let the water run until you add a filter if you decide to do so. And then you have your outdoor shower. And then you have your black tank flush, your city water hookup. And then you have your waste disposal right there. You have all your US, your USB, your uh, cable satellite hookups. Then you have a plugs. And then you have a light that you can turn on in here as well. So pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and then you have your stabilizer over here. Let's see here. You have your stabilizer right here and then auto stabilizer. Let's be, let's be real, let's say it like it is. And then you have your battery disconnect right here as well. But we'll leave it on, off. Because we don't have any batteries hooked up right now. Here's all, on the inside of the thing, here's all the instructions on how to use your auto stabilizer okay slam latches to close this door and then you have your other propane tank and that's the outside of it so there's quite a bit on the outside two entrances you also have a larger uh, hot water tank than like your sport tracks and some of your other uh, RVs, so it's a little bit bigger because you're going to be carrying a little bit more people. Um, you have outdoor speakers, you have the big awning, it is also lit, I didn't even point that out. So if you look underneath the awning, you can see the LED strip all the way down. So you don't have to have it all the way out for it to actually work or to enjoy the lighting. So you can leave it in because windy days happen. But let's go ahead and go in and take a look, all right? All right, just like I said before, you have the Lippert solid steps going all the way up it's four steps and then the fifth to get in and then you are greeted by this awesome living area i got it all plugged in i'm going to close this door because i have the fireplace running which is amazing it has warmed up this whole room i had a little bit of doubt this time because this is a much larger space Plus it's got the opening to the bunk room, which is a huge doorway, but it is a uh, farm door there. So you have a giant slide that has your dinette set as well as your theater seating. It is heated, massaging and lit as you can see the lights, even in the cup holders. And you can see all the buttons. You got the massage, the light and the heater. And then you have a place that you can pull out for more bed. It's just a traditional couch. You just fold it out and you got a place to sleep there. You have storage up top. You have your command center right here. They call it the convenience center. I think command sounds so much better because you have, I want to say five slides on this thing. So you have one, two, three, four, and for whatever reason they didn't title this one, but it's a fifth slide plus your awning. You have all your water heater pumps. Uh, you have all your lights to turn on and then this also checks how big how much the tanks are filled as well as uh, How charged the battery is We're gonna go ahead and turn around We have our TV which this one is actually kind of got me curious a lot of these RV TVs aren't necessarily the best because I think the manufacturers just like, let's throw in a TV. But I know some are going away from that because TVs have gotten so cheap and you can have really good smart TVs. You can get 4K very, fairly cheap. You can even get 8K fairly cheap. So you have opportunities to pick different uh, options for your RV, but they went ahead and put an Ultra HD, which is a 4K TV in here. It's made by Furion and I think it's going to be a fairly decent TV. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the nicest TV out there. This is probably a hard 6. So we'll see as they uh, keep on rolling in if we keep on getting these. I'm kind of excited for them. Then you have your front-facing speakers on each side. Right here and right here. 
with your center stereo, Bluetooth and everything. And then you have your fireplace down on the bottom. Coming along, you have a three door uh, fridge freezer combo with an ice maker on the bottom. Tons and tons of space. Then you have your traditional uh, residential microwave. It's huge. And then below you do have a three burner stove along with a turkey size. Let's see if we can turn it on. Turkey size oven. Now on this one, it doesn't have the safety feature where if it's turned on, it's going to give you a red light. I don't know why they didn't do that, but I mean, as long as you keep your eye on it, you're going to be totally fine. And then you can also turn off the light right here seems like everybody's like, oh, there's my coffee bar. So I always call this the coffee bar. Up top, you have storage, lots of it on both sides. You also have storage below, and then you have storage underneath the sink. This sink, I believe, is a, yep, you're going to have a farm style sink along with a matte black faucet, and it's one of those slinky dinky ones. I love these. And then, of course, you can just lock it in, and it's there. I think this part just needs to be adjusted, but it's fine. And then you have your hot, cold, and turned on. Just pull it forward. All right. Then you have your AC centered right here, and it's all vented throughout the entire RV. And then you have lights in the middle. And then we're headed to probably the best feature of this RV. My favorite feature anyways. It is a huge, huge bunk room. And look at the size of this door. I mean, just to put it in perspective, let's see if I can do this. That's my arm. So, and I still have that much more of the door behind me. That thing is gigantic. Let's close it. Magnetic close. Huge door. But now you have this freedom in here for the kids. They can be a little bit noisier. They have storage right here. Holy cow. Yeah, huge storage right here. And then you do have your hanging rod. You have a place for your TV. And of course, behind this is the... Uh, the outdoor kitchen. You have more storage in here. And then you have your uh, steps that hook up right here. And you can just hop on up even for the little kids. 300 pound capacity so an adult could easily sleep here. And then you have your top bunk over here. Again another 300 pound capacity. And then this turns into a twin bed. Plenty of room for two uh, adults or two children to sleep in. Now, this is the, the big feature that I love, the, the extra bathroom. And it's not just because it's an extra bathroom. You have a porcelain toilet. You have your sink. You have your medicine cabinet with a window. You have your extra exit. Now, you can deadbolt it from the outside so that the kids can't leave. And then you have places to hang towels. And you have your shower. But the best part is... You have a tub and it's pretty decently deep and you have a place to actually plug up the, the drain. So huge benefit. And you do have, of course, a shower head as well. But it also has a traditional faucet to pour the water out, which you don't see very often at all. So awesome. All right, let's open up this gigantic door. <laughs> Wow, that magnet works great. Twist that. Now it's going to be stuck open. Coming in here. Again, this is such a beautiful living space, especially with the fireplace. Now coming up your stairs. Three steps. You have your air conditioning. It's Furion. And it's all digital, which is awesome. You have your bathroom. It's got the uh, polished or whatever you call it look. You have a seat in here as well. Nice tall shower. 
Again, a porcelain toilet, place to hang your towels. Another medicine cabinet with a mirror, sink and bowl, and then down below, storage. And you do have a plug right there. Now going into the master bedroom, it is a queen size bed, like residential queen, so it's nice and long. You have storage underneath, and then you have storage going along the top. You have a little bit of storage on each side, probably to put books or whatever you're reading before bed, if you're a journal taker. And then you have plugs on both sides to plug up phones, tablets, whatever you need. Behind me, you have your, I can barely see, a uh, TV backer. And then you also have your plugs and everything. Coming over here, you have a place to store just your like shoes to get on and off. You know, some people have pets. You have a little uh, slide out drawer. You have lots of hanging space. And then in here, you have your washer and dryer hookup, or you can always just use it as more storage. And then you do have plugs in here and it is lit along with hanging rod as well. So AC located in here as well. Again, it's all ported out or you can turn it on right here to where it just dumps right here in the uh, bedroom. So uh, if it's a hot summer day, that's probably the best option. All right. This RV is awesome. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you want to see next or what you're interested in. I do have all my personal information located in the description. So if you're interested in buying this RV or any other RV that I have, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Um, if you have questions about this RV specifically, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, beyond that, after this, you're going to see all the specs. I'm going to do like a little few extra pictures. And until next video, peace. All right. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Right now, we're going to go over all the specs. We're going to start with the dimensions. The length of the RV is 42 and a half feet long. The width is 8 feet and the height is 12.42 feet. Now the weight, we're gonna go with dry weight first. It is 12,708 pounds. Payload capacity is 2,792 pounds. So that puts your GVWR at 15,500 pounds. Your hitch weight is 2,110 pounds. You have a fresh water holding tank. It is 48 gallons. You have a gray water holding tank, which is 112 gallons, which is gigantic. And then you have a black water tank, which is 72 gallons, also gigantic. You have two propane tanks, 60 pounds combined, so 30 pounds each. Again, this RV has five slide outs, so it gives you a lot of extra space on the inside. You have one awning that's 15 feet. So it says it sleeps eight people. I do believe it could sleep nine, no problem. You could also probably fit a few more people if you put pallets down on the ground. And the hot water tank again is 10 gallons. Now that covers pretty much everything. If you have any other questions, all my contact information will be located down below. And if you're interested in buying, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Until next time, bye.